So I reached out to you guys and I asked you on Twitter and Instagram what you guys do at night time and how do you stay awake? And I shared that question with this picture and a few of you seem to think that that was a drug reference. <laughs> I was just making sweet, sweet sugar candy, nothing else. I'll tell you how I stay awake at night and what my strategies are for getting through a night of imaging. And we'll hear from a bunch of other astronomers, some of whom you will probably know and some of whom you won't. All I can say is that you guys are a bunch of fruitcakes. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. Yes, I am sick, which is why my voice has dropped a few octaves. I haven't just hit puberty, but I'm back on YouTube because I love money. Because I love sharing what I've learned with the rest of the astronomy community. It is long and lonely out in the dark, and we have a hobby that happens at night time. So everyone's in bed, and sometimes it's actually quite difficult to stay awake. We all deal with this problem a little bit differently. Some people are social astronomers, some people are automated. So first we'll hear from friend of the show, Astro Stacey. Astrophotography, staying awake, what's that? We haven't had any clear skies in the UK for a while. But when we do, there's a few things that I do to stay awake. First one is, and it's going to sound really, really British, but I drink tea. Lots of it. <laughs> Secondly, I watch a ton of documentaries. Netflix, I tend to binge watch. And finally, I have this mad puppy who is obsessed with playing ball to the point where I'm saying, Luna, where's your ball? Where's your ball? <laughs> and she's off to find a tennis ball and literally that will go on all night. Thanks, Daisy. Astronomy doesn't have to be so lonely. Now, how about Diego Colonello from Sidereal Trading? Hi, Dylan. G'day, mate. So you want to know what do I do when I'm shooting, taking photos, and I want to stay awake? The fact of the matter, I don't stay awake. Normally, I'm too tired, and uh, these following steps are exactly what I do every night. I want to take photos from my observatory. Connect to my observatory computer, open Voyager, click run, get my tablet, connect to the dashboard, hit connect, and then I have all my session here. I leave the observatory working. I get notified if there is any problems. So I just hit the bed, go to sleep. I don't stay awake. Next morning I have my files on my computer and then go to work. See ya. Now that is living the dream and that is what I want to do at some point. I'd love to be able to go to bed. And now we'll hear from Deddy. Hey, so I don't know about you guys, but when I'm cold and tired, this is what I like to do. You see this thing? Oh yeah. And Paul Short had this to say. What's this sleep business you're on about? Yeah. I know. Some days my kids just jump on my face at 6am in the morning and, and then you have to pay off a sleep debt for days. But it's worth it, especially when you don't get a break in the weather for a long time. It's a small sacrifice to make for the cool pictures we get. And here's a video from viewer Aaron V. What's up, Dylan? G'day, mate. Aaron here with AV Astronomy. So the way I stay awake for my imaging sessions, well, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't stay awake for my imaging sessions, man. Once I get everything up and running, I cheat. I throw on a timer on the phone, take a little nap here on the couch, and uh, wake up when it's pretty much done, and then just pick up from there, man. That's, that's what I do. Anyway, peace out. And here's a video from a new astronomer, Shannon Simpson. Well, Dylan. G'day, mate. When I'm imaging the cosmos, 
I'm smoking cigarettes, smoking pot, and also controlling my telescope at the moment because I don't have all the advanced shit that everybody else has and I don't have the money. So I'm making my own stuff. Check this out. That's an ETX-90 about to be made into a guy scope for that big old LX-210 inch right there. Kind of shit that I do when I'm empty. I'd like to especially shout out Shannon who is doing his best. As you can tell from these videos, astronomers come in all different shapes and sizes. We're not a homogenous group of people. And I think these videos really encapsulate that. You guys are a very diverse and cool bunch of people. Uh, as for me, basically I try to get some sleep, but not through automation. My gear uh, is fast. I'm shooting with Rasa, so I'm monitoring, but it only usually takes me an hour or two. It's only on some nights when the conditions are so perfect and so good uh, that I'll choose to stay up until 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm not one of those early morning astronomers generally. I have a family, I've got to get to sleep. So normally I'm out the door setting up right as the sun's going down and then I image straight through to 1 a.m. And a good tip is don't try to process your data at night. I've I used to do this all the time, right, as a beginner. I would process my data, I would stay up longer and longer and then I would post it somewhere and then I would wake up in the morning and look at it and realize that I've done something wrong or the colors off or something you need to look at your images with fresh eyes in the morning do your acquisition at night if you've got time to and you're a night owl I I get that too um, by all means start stacking and all that but don't post the image until you've had at least a day to look at it consider it see how you feel about the color balance and stuff like that that's really saved me a few times. Other than that, I, uh, I'm a coffee addict. I will drink multiple cups of coffee throughout the day, so I'm usually fine to just be up at the end of the day. I'm a night owl by nature, uh, and I think a lot of night owls are attracted to this particular hobby, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Once the telescope is up and imaging, I'm usually just watching Netflix uh, and playing guitar and shit posting on Twitter. Astronomy isn't my only hobby, and I know a lot of you aren't defined just by astronomy either. Uh, and so you probably know there's plenty of stuff to do at night time. However, it can be a struggle. If you are cold and outside, your fingers start to freeze up, your brain starts to stop working, you can get away from the telescope and just have a break and warm up. Or inversely, if you need to get inside out of the mosquitoes and the heat and sit by the aircon for a while, um, that's cool too. Automation is a wonderful thing. It is the goal for many of us and not all of us have it. So we do all have our different strategies for what we do as the telescope is doing its thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Dylan O'Donnell. You've been watching Star Stuff. Remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die. Mm -hmm.